Wednesday the 6th of July um, How are you today? I started feeling today like a fantastically well known giant grower of the old um, who I was missing was the whole iron shirt and the white board on the uh, inside of the shed door but been uh, spreading this muck really does wear you down a bit so uh, no wonder I don't think you lasted to a particularly ripe old age but it's all on if the birds stop leaving stop picking through the uh, worms and things and picking it off I say it's all on it's all on this bed so that's seven out of fourteen and these two and one down there which was the first one I did so it just leaves four to do so 10 out of 14 quite pleased to have uh, broken the back of it really today um, because soon we're going to need to start putting the time in on the plants um, not the muck but the fabric replacement service is well on track Wednesday the 13th of July um, just giving a drink of water already this morning um, and then started putting some canes in so I'm getting down to numbers like that and the first tile um, when I get that done I'm going away for a few days back end of July I know a bit daft but I want them all down to numbers with the first ties on um, the water's not going to be the only water um, we've been getting 30 plus degree temperatures for the last 10 days I think so uh, they've had a water and then a leather feed as well so each plant would have got half a gallon of no a gallon of water or feed today um, hopefully it soak into the ground so this is where we are canes are in just going to go through them and strip them down and tie them up but that's the Louis Alvis through a bit up and down but hopefully that's a timing thing that a plant health Ramsey's Bryn Aggie Valentine and Spur Spur look quite good this year a bit stronger than average bit of a cock up down here um, unfortunately some of the Casper just didn't like the treatment those two are alright maybe a fur one there and one further up so I'll just have to replace some plants um, then we've got almonds Kia Magic at the end these are cream alvis water hardly at the end uh, John Hill White Alvis, Ben Houston, they're waking up now. And we've got Greta and Hannah. Hannah's been quite slow from the uh, Hannah's been quite slow from the chop back. Apart from when it does go, it seems to go. So it's really I can see that powerful stems coming up from under the ground. Um, but just not lots of them. There's another one there, but I think there is other shoots coming below, so I may not necessarily get the three I want on those. Then we've got Rihanna Tommy, the Bonaventure, waste of time. Um, I've left them in the ground, I've stopped them, but they're never going to come for anything, they're just not, not got the figure. And then we've got peach and pink peach with a couple of rose peach at the end and then the Go American and Amari Gold. Amari Gold seems a little bit slow to get away from the chop but then it's a very early variety so hopefully they'll still make it. So generally I think it's looking good. I don't we've had any rain at all in July. Not much since, well, middle of June I think. Um, could do with some but it's not going to come in this next week or so so we crack on 11 30 in the morning it's currently 27 degrees in the shade clearly i'm not 
in the shade nor the plants but um just already done these three beds now down to numbers as you can see by the piles in the path and i sort of made a brave or stupid decision hopefully brave and sensible to uh chop out the main plant of the alf ramsey because they were pretty big and shielding the shoots from underneath so these are effectively what got cut out um, to leave the shoots coming out from the underground we've got plants that are well up and others that are just coming up and I'll see this was a the test um, where this row was planted underground and the far row was planted traditionally, stopped traditionally. And you can see they look like they're further in advance uh, of them, but that's fine because these are following behind. But the view wind flowers come would be interesting, and now we've got the shoots out. Um, how they develop and if they end up more powerful with the larger flowers than the ones stopped normally. We shall see. Thursday the 14th, I just came up this morning <coughs> to uh, finish off with one bed on this plot left to do. Um, I see it perked up a little bit considering they were beating up so much yesterday on me pulling shoots out of them. And hopefully now they'll thicken up and fill up. So that was a fairway spur that I just done this morning. And then everything got a spray. Hopefully then get this plot done next week. And then uh, it's just playing with the free stems on each plant. We hope. Tuesday the 19th of June, officially the uh, <coughs> hottest day in the UK on record. Uh, it's 37 and a half degrees now, so it's cooled down to um, that from, I think it just topped 40 degrees. Um, and so I thought I'd pop up and see what the plants actually look like. And generally, considering, yeah, they're flagging a bit, but it's, I know that's not due to lack of water because they all got more than half a gallon um, we've got three quarters of a gallon of water per plant this morning and they had pretty much the same the, the day before it's just pure heat but you know flagging a little bit but I've probably expected to see more Just gonna put some canes in um, now. Stupid in the heat, but I've got one day tomorrow to get all this lot down to numbers and tied up. Ready for me to just put on holiday for a few days and then back on Monday to uh, carry on. But I just want to get that job done. So they're surviving. Wednesday, the 27th of July. Um, ideally, I want to be taking um, buds probably Friday, Saturday um, for Midlands Essex weekend. It'd be about 30 days. I've left the plants alone bud wise, um, more to not be in here for five days. But um, plants like this, this is um, Canora Valentine, probably are still going to be. Um, Bank holiday weekend, certainly where we are. Um, maybe that one where it's just tucked inside is probably about right. Um, so I'm just gonna have a, I have been having a good chop through the plot and, and basically taking buds back. Um, so when I come Friday, I can start securing buds and not spend time knocking back. So I'm just gonna do this plant here. Unfortunately, can't do it one handed, so I'll do it and I'll show you. So that's that done, it doesn't take long. Um, you'll see I've cut through a joint when I've cut through, which would have been 
mostly the terminal pad wing pads um, at least but it leaves a, a solid stem doesn't look pretty but it leaves a stem then we've got the next pair of leaves down I've removed the shoots from there and I've left this shoot which effectively is three pairs of leaves down the stem every other shoot if you can see it is then removed from the stem and I know people don't like doing this and they don't like doing it on giants but there's powerful stems there all that energy from that stem is now going into just this one shoot which will soon perk up pick up and grow out this is another one and I've kept the bit that I cut off here so that was there so you can see we've cut the main bud the wing buds and the sort of pair of leaves that are following that so that's probably that would delay it by a week um, I want to sort of delay these plants really back to um, somewhere nearer um, Newby Hall or Harrogate as I still call it so I've then took the next pair off and left one shoot on the next pair down and again removed all and then the same there so hopefully we've delayed that plant by at least I would hope two weeks maybe um, maybe more um, we've got 24 there was 26 but I pulled two out this morning because I wasn't happy with the health of them 26 plants of valentine here some plants like those are going to naturally make the earlier shows you know there'll be buds just about sitting in there other plants like that more that's just budding this side of the row was done um, on a normal stop that side on the chop and you can see we've got younger plants so hopefully they're going to naturally make through so I'm not going to struggle for early buds that plant's probably perfect for bank holiday weekend really they'd just be sitting in there um, so I'm not going to struggle for early buds what I am going to struggle is the sort of mid late season so hence most of these that have got the buds will be getting took down to delay them at least two weeks hopefully in some cases three weeks um, and then they'll be left and as the buds come I should secure them but um, it's just a job not to have to do while you're securing buds, watering, feeding. They've been getting watered again today. That was watered Monday. Um, apparently my potholder neighbour says we've had 0.6 of a millimetre of rain this month. Um, and I think it was four millimetres <coughs> in June and six millimetres in May. So uh, yeah, it needed a bit of water. seen it today. Not Louis White. Everything's been budded back. There's no real reason that anyone should turn up at a show and say, look at my good flowers last week. Because while you've got buds you're in control. Not ideal in, the, in that sense. You don't want to knock plants about but it's better to have a flower for a show than a great flower with no show. So we've got Louis. Yeah, Elvis. The um, Ramsey. Again, there's a test. These ones are off to plant. And these ones out the ground. So, a whole row there and a row there. We shall see if that makes any difference. These are all the, the Bryn. Aggie, Aggie's slightly behind Bryn and Bryn's slightly behind Louis. Um, the Valentine oh, chopped about. As you can see. And then these are all spur. A couple of very good plants of Casper. And then on the right we've got um, <clears throat> Almond's Climax and Clear Magic at the end. 
Cream Elvis, John Hill, and the end plants. Up there are uh, Walter Hazersley. <coughs> then we've got White Elvis and Ben Houston. Elvis, as soon as the sun comes out, drop their leaves down. So knock a few buds off of Ben. Then we've got Greta, Hannah J, Rihanna Tammy, poor excuse for Bonaventure, which I'll probably pull out next week. Peach and Pink Peach, a couple of rows at the end. And then Go American and Amari Gold. This is my attempt to try and get Amari Gold for Harrogate. I really butchered them down and see if they come. And they just sort of get more like plants as we go further up the row. Go American on the double stop just to see if it loses a little bit of petal or maybe gets a smaller centre and a bit more depth. If it makes any difference or not, we don't know. So, it's all done. Probably give them a spray. I think I've seen the first sign of a touch of spider mite on a leaf. So they'll be sprayed. Um, it's be Friday now. And just start putting the second ties on. Some of these could do with it. Just to keep them pointing upwards. And start securing buds. So that's July. What a hot month. 0.6 of a mil rain, if that ever does anything. Over 40 degrees of temperature. And today's a cool one at 22. But still, hotter than you'd like. See you in August.